okay so the next step in the configuration uh, is maintaining mapping for actions and connector groups okay so let's read about what the step means so in this customizing activity you can assign actions to a connector group and then select the default connector for each group okay now So in business role management, there are four phases for which you need to assign a connector group. These phases are associated with following actions. Okay, this is related to BRM, okay? Why, where you will need the connectors, okay? So let's go and maintain our actions and connector groups, okay? So we have two here already, but we see, remember, we also created our own uh, connector group. Remember, we have our own connector group. So let's add that and say application is SAP. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put it in a transport request. We are going to add our connectors to these connector groups. Okay. So let's first add it the SAP de default ones, okay, we'll add to these two, okay. We, we don't need to add for multiple connector groups, okay, we just need to add it to one that we require, okay, but we are going to experiment with this. So select your connector group, the connector group that you want to add the connectors to, okay, and then click on default connector group, okay, assign default connectors to connector group. Okay, now click on new entries and say pick your connector group. Uh, let's say this one, right, which, which we already have. Action is one, which is for role generation. Okay, so then you have four actions here, right? Role generation, role risk analysis, authorization maintenance, provisioning, and HR triggers. So we are not using HR triggers, we just use these first four, okay? Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is that we are starting off with our S4 HANA connector default, okay? Now, for a connector group, only one system, one target connector be used as a default, okay? For all the actions. So because we already have one set, so we cannot use this one, okay, uh, for hours, okay. So let's see what do we do about that, right? So click on the group, take the second action, and you can basically copy paste from this point on, you can copy paste the values, okay. Three which is authorization maintenance. Okay. okay, and then you maintain. For the fourth action. Okay, so now we, map the actions for the S4 HANA connector. Now let us do the same thing for our ECC connector. Okay, then it goes one. Okay, and then pick our ECC connector. Okay, so let me copy this. Okay, four times, two, three and four. So you can just say f two here, select two and then three and four. Okay, like I said, you know, there is only one for each connector group that you could have only one default system. So let's go back and check. So because we already had the other one was removed. Okay, so we can now, if you want, you can go and set 
our systems for each action only one system okay one connector not all uh, so you have one this is two this is three this is four okay see what happens if I do this okay for example I'm gonna save it I get a message saying only one default should exist okay so you don't you cannot set uh, multiple systems in the same connector group you cannot set multiple system for each action you can have only one uh, uh, default system not multiple okay uh, we have done with this this group now let us go and add uh, to this is the R3LG group, okay? So let's do the same step again. Okay, click on SAP R3LG action 01. Okay, like I said in the beginning, you can have only uh, one default, okay? You don't have to and default as well as uh, you, you can you need to have only only one group I'm just doing it for multiple groups okay now we mapped the actions for our ECC connector now let's do the same for our S4 connector okay okay we take this to So all the four actions save it now you go back and if you see the r3lg also has some already some systems defined as default okay so let's not change it uh, in this case okay all right so once you have done that okay so if you see you have another uh, set of group field mapping here okay so let's take the help of the same blog and see what do you have here, right? Now, in the connector actions group, when you double click, select the connect, LDAP connector, and then go to assign group and field mapping. In that step, what you need to do is, in case of LDAP, you see two columns, okay? One is for access control field name, or the other one is for system field name, which is your LDAP uh, column, okay, your Active Directory column. Now here, what you need to do is you have to map your uh, Active Directory fields to the corresponding attributes or fields on the Active Directory side. Okay, so for example, the last name in, act, in Access Control is the same as the attribute SN on the active directory side similarly your uh, first name on the access control side field is the same as the given name on the active uh, active directory side okay so for example user id here right the user id on the active directory side here it is given as pager but on the active directory side uh, the user ID attribute is SAM account name okay so you can use SAM account name here so basically what you're doing in this step is you're mapping the access control fields to the attributes on the 
the corresponding attributes on the Active Directory side. Okay. Now, once that is done, then you also have to maintain assign group parameters mapping. Okay, and this group parameter, these groups are basically your uh, groups on the Active Directory side. So even this piece of information you have to get from Active Directory person uh, team. Okay, so you need to do that. Now, as part of the LDAP configuration, right? you're going to use Active Directory for uh, user provisioning purposes. So your data source for user IDs is going to be LDAP. So you need to maintain uh, the data source configuration also, OK? In case of LDAP, if you're using LDAP connectors. So keep that in mind. You'll have to use maintain data source configuration also. Now, we are not going to go through all of these steps because uh, we are not having LDAP or Active Directory in our scenario, okay? Anyway, so the point is, if you are using LDAP, then you'll also, for each of these connectors, uh, if you have the LDAP connector group, connector group here, then you have to maintain these fields, uh, these nodes also, okay? So once you have maintained all your uh, connector group with target connector actions, click on save and come on, okay? Now let us go and maintain this same set, the systems for our own group, okay? Now in our own group, so click on new entries. Okay, now click on select or your custom group that you created. Same process, right? Target connector is, let's take our ECC system. Then I'm going to make uh, our, our S4HANA system in this case as our default system, okay? So I'm going to, two, three, four. Right, two, three, and four. Okay. Now I'm going to do one. Our S one HANA system. And let's make this default, okay, for this connector group. Four. So let's say two, three, authorization maintenance, and four is provisioning. Okay, select all of them as default and click on save. So we have done all of that. Okay, again, the point is you don't need to maintain, you know, your connectors and multiple connector groups, okay? So one, one connector group is good enough, okay? All right, save it. Okay, now you're done with this.